everybody. Um, welcome back to part two of our tiny house build. I wasn't really satisfied with the way I left it last time, so um, I thought I'd revisit it and make some changes. So here you see we're um, shuffling around the shower and um, I'm going to try and fit a sink into the corner so that we can get rid of the sink in the kitchen and put a stove in there, which is exactly what we're doing now. Um, if I remember to take away the bench, nope. There we go, so we're putting a stove in, so that really fits the definition of being a more complete kitchen. And of course, I accidentally moved the bed, so we have to reposition that. We don't have our little sim in here to test it, so I'm hoping it will be fine. This will um, be uploaded to the gallery, so um, it's there for you to download if you wish. I'm putting a little bit of um, extra decorations. I just wanted to um, brighten up or jazz up the inside a little bit. I just felt that it needed, it was a little bit plain. Um, I think I've already moved the, that round rug to be more central under the table. And um, now we're going to head to the outside because, um, yeah, and we've got a random cereal bowl, um, which we've gotten rid of. Um, uh, I wanted to do a little bit of work on the outside. I really, as I said in the last video, I wanted to do a gazebo out the front and, um, oh, sorry, out the back. And so we're now going to start work on the garden and um, just jazz it up a little bit and give um, your sims an outdoor or your sim because this is really only built for one um, an outdoor living area now I toyed with making it some sort of octagonal but it was just going to be too big and too unrealistic for the size of the house so we decided to go for another 4x4 four four. Um, and um, yeah just um, to get them some a nice area where they can you know sit out have a barbecue have some friends over for a bit of a house party perhaps and um, um, you know do some outdoor entertaining and um, I sort of went through a couple of um, combinations of what to do with the ceiling I kind of I wasn't sure if I liked the diagonal look but it did spark an idea so I've actually um, this is the final design just going in now just a little bit of um, and yeah, whoops just a little bit of something different just so that um, you know we can hang some plants on it make it look like a really nice really pleasant place to sit uh, outdoors uh, in the daytime read a book have a nap on the couch that we the couches that we do eventually put in or you know as I said have a barbecue do some entertaining and as you can see here we're raising some plants up and putting them on the on the roof of that gazebo um, to make it look like it's got creepers and vines on the roof I've got um, the move objects cheat on so that we can raise these plants up um, and put them on the roof here and I've as you can see I've moved them around and put them on different angles um, just so that they they look a little bit random and like they've grown a little bit naturally um, and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out um, we're just putting a little bit of a hedge just across the back of the gazebo and um, I'm looking at a few plants here now just to see what we could put in there and gosh that hedge is crooked uh, but don't worry we do fix it in just a tick um, and now I'm looking at some trees to put in and we've got a bit of a long pause here. Maybe I checked my phone, not sure what's going on. There we go, attention back. Um, and now we're um, just replacing that floor with that gorgeous blonde wood that's on the inside of our little tiny house as well. Um, so it, it kind of flows through from the inside and there we are trying to get the diagonal to work. Um, and yep there we go just to make it a little bit um, interesting and not 
you know, um, boring and I, I don't mind straight lines, but it's nice to have a bit of a curve there. And um, like I said, now we're going to put a few rocks in. My idea with this is to make the block of land look largely uncleared or um, a lot of still retaining a lot of the natural vegetation, even though this is in a suburban area. It's almost like the block itself has been left to go wild. Excuse me. And um, so we're putting in a few rocks around the trees. I really love them. Some of them have been scaled up. If you've got move objects on, if you hold down your shift key and then your left and right square brackets, you can, oh, there you go, we straighten the hedge up. Um, you can up or down size um, rocks or plants, you'll see that too, um, or decorator or furniture items. Um, you know, it makes, it lets you vary um, the look and, and personalize a little bit more. So yeah, that damn bowl of cereal, I'm still working out how to um, delete it. Uh, but don't worry, we get it sorted in the very near future. Um, it is the middle of the day on a Saturday for me, so I had a few distractions and um, yeah, we were trying to get rid of the cereal by normal means, but it took a bit of a, um, a cheaty cheaty to get rid of it. So, um, and now we're putting in some flowers. And as you can see, we're leaving some the natural size and some we're upsizing to give a bit of variety to them. And uh, there you go, that's upsized. Um, and we're putting some uh, beautiful wildflowers because this wildflower is outside of the, the boundaries of the block of land. So it's to carry that um, feel of the general area through. And also to make it a little bit pretty. Not We don't want it um, English garden pretty we want it sort of country cottage almost wild sort of feeling pretty so we've got trees for shade we've got plants for a little bit of color but not too many plants we've only gone with um, I think four different ones here we do um, at the end include some of the one that we've got across there you go um, across at the front and again upscaling some so they look different and you know, turning them different ways, making them so that they're oriented in different ways, so that different flowers point forwards and backwards, so that they look like they've grown a little more naturally. And here I looked at the green grass over the border and thought we could perhaps put that some of that in, but it just wasn't the same colour and I didn't didn't like it. So we left that. Um, so here we are on to um, making a little bit of a nook for the bin to go in, just um, to hide a little bit. If you're doing some entertaining, you want it to look a little um, well, not so in your face there, but at least be accessible. And we've carried over the siding from the, the little half walls at the front, which are the tiny, tiny walls. We've carried it over to that and the same um, capping. And we've got a couple of these outdoor chairs. We've bought the red colour in from the siding and the inside we've bought it outside and that's the reason we actually chose that barbecue is because it was it's on the cheaper side and it's got the um, red and black on it and I thought about a coffee table here but none of them really um, looked like they fit so we went for a couple of side tables again these are on we've got one of these inside and it just kind of made the outside space match and flow through from the inside space so we're just moving them back out the way a little bit and now we're looking at some outdoor lighting um, and in the end we play around a bit with these ones we make them black obviously to match the barbecue and and the black trimming that we have around the place um, we've made these ones look like table lamps which is pretty cool I really liked how that looked and then these ones we're just dotting in amongst the plants rather than having them in a more formal line up down a path or anything like that. So they will actually light up um, bushes and things at night time, which is, um, and most of them aren't really visible unless you're looking for them. Um, and I think I, I really like that um, 
that look I really love lights being in amongst your plants in the garden so I think that's quite pretty and we want a bit of light here for the bin so that you don't trip over and break your leg in the dark or at least your sim doesn't and we're putting a little bit of decoration on the wall here and yeah I'm not really happy with the the snap spacing so we make our own and again if you hold the alt key down while you're grasping an object you can move it in any direction you like and yeah we're sort of looking around here to see how we can yeah that's my I saw that the bed was poking out of the front of the house so we're just fixing that up a bit and making sure that I think I had a cat helping me at this stage and she kept pushing my mouse cat mouse and um, resetting the bed so um, we're just now thinking about the mailbox um, if you were down under you would call it a letterbox um, and just getting something different in there I think that looks quite cool and quite funky and fits in with the um, the style and now we're making it look like this grass is being walked on and used regularly so these are all your kind of natural access points if your sim was walking or if you and I were walking down the street we would not walk around to the corner um, and just put our feet on the um, on the stepping stones we'd just walk across um, across the grass well I would anyway and so this just makes it gives a little more depth when you're putting um, the soil under the um, plants and the rocks there um, no grass would grow under those areas so it just makes it a little more natural looking gives a little more depth um, they kind of act as a little bit of um, shadow as well so gives a little more definition and um, yeah I'm pretty happy with how that came up it um, looks quite yeah we did a little, we're a little bit heavy-handed there so start again um, and I really like how that came up it looks quite natural it looks like a lived-in um, well usable yard that would be quite comfortable for your sims now again we've we've gone back into the interior I wanted something for those windows because they are quite big and um, they really I just wanted to you know dress them up a little bit and make them a little bit fancy rather than just leaving them blank from the inside so trying a few things here not really liking um, more the swatches rather than um, the um, the curtains themselves so I was thinking about how we could do this yeah, I kind of like that I, I would have done something differently now if I could go back and do it again but I'm not doing another two hours of recording to make a speedy up video for you um, just to change that um, that shade there I do like it I think it fits in really well but I just would have perhaps put a few more down the window and um, put a couple of posts there just to sort of tie it in so you could try that or not you could take it away sell it um, I believe the final price for moving into this lot is just under 30,000 so it's not technically a um, I did consider that one for a little while um, and there you go I kind of um, was satisfied with that color the gray sort of ties into a few of the the appliances they had a little bit more greenery up on the shelf there um, yeah this will eventually cost under 30 grand so it's not technically a starter home but you could certainly modify it and take out a few of the more expensive appliances make it a bit cheaper so that it could very easily be used as a starter home for one sim um, or if you had sims on shifts you could always put them you know have a couple living in there and um, they could alternately use the bed and the couches out the back and this is just prettying up the front a little bit um, we just I just felt that it was a little bit plain and with all of the beautiful vegetation around the rest of the house I thought um, some window boxes would be lovely there and I didn't really want to put curtains on the inside because that's where the kitchen is and I don't know about you but when I'm cooking I like to look out the window and watch the world go by so and a little bit of light at the front 
And um, we're just now thinking um, about finishing touches really. Um, and we're having a look here at what uh, the lot uh, attributes are and what characteristics um, have been applied and I can't remember it's too small for me to look at at the moment but you'll know it's I think it's um, homey and fast internet and something else it was pleasant it's a nice lot to live on now I thought that that large flat roof we wanted something just to dress that up I did think about the sort of the air conditioner on the roof but it just looked a bit chunky and a bit so we went for a couple of vents and I, I quite, quite like them they're in an appropriate position, I think, over the bathroom. And here we're going into screenshots. So this is how it, um, the final look. That's the front door there um, from the street. Um, came up quite nicely, I think. I would live in this little tiny house. And this is from the back, looking at those giant windows um, and into the house. And this is showing you how close the gazebo is to the house. Um, and the little gazebo... We didn't go too hard on the furnishings because it gives you a bit of um, leeway to do your own decorating and the barbecue and a little bit of the beautiful greenery and the, the flowers from the side. And here's a bit of a look at night time. And that's it. Have a good one.